Hey, in time watchman, part two on recap. Uh, recap it on survival now. Uh, you know, definitely, definitely, definitely. There'll be there's newer people coming in and asking me about guns and stuff like that that are finding my videos than some of them old ones I'd pull down and put on another hard drive. But uh, I don't know. Some of them will be reposting, some of them won't. But at the same time, we're we're gonna go over this stuff. You know, I, I told you uh, that if you don't believe that you should ever need a gun, that is up to you. I just I basically put this out for whosoever will. Okay. You don't want to that's fine but having said that do not waste my time by sending me a personal message or a comment on saying that god says i cannot have a gun because uh by the way i know some of you do not believe the old testament some of you believe that that's done away with and uh but that's not true neither jesus said not one jot or tittle from the law shall uh come to pass till all be fulfilled in other words it's still good for today Okay, no, we don't sacrifice bulls and goats anymore. We don't sacrifice lambs as it did in the Old Testament because uh, Jesus is that lamb, that lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, and he shed his blood. Okay, a lamb without blemish. He who knew no sin became our sin, okay? So I know the scripture. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't mind comments and I don't mind edification, but I, I'm not putting up with no railing and, and, and uh, all that kind of bull crap any longer. Time's too short. You can get pissed and you can leave if you want to. I don't care. I don't care if you leave. You go ahead and go. I don't have the time to sit there and change diapers and, and, and give people pacifiers. Either you agree with it or you don't, and that's fine. Okay, just move on and try to get all your friends and everything else that you can and attack me and get them off, you know, of subscribing and watching videos. That's fine. I told you when I started, if one person comes to God, then I'm not a failure. And guess what? There's over a thousand that came to Jesus. Not by this redneck, but the Word of God that comes through the video. It's just that simple. So, having said that, let's get back to survival. And like I said, I'm just on a roll. I'm just, I'm free-handing, baby. I'm putting loose and pants free today. And, uh, but let's get, let's, uh, let's recognize and understand that, uh, that when, when, when this, uh, economic collapse, uh, begins to manifest itself all over this nation, in which it will, and, uh, let's just go ahead and say this. Uh, I was going to make a separate video, but I won't. I just jungle it all together, and if you can listen to it and, 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 and all, that's fine. If you can't understand, turn it off. Uh, notice when I when I use the words I use, not if but when. Okay, when Mexico uh, totally collapses, it already has. But when it gets to the point where they flee and come across that border, uh, they're not going to be coming across. They're not going to be coming across for uh, wanting to get a job hanging sheetrock because ain't no houses being built much anymore. They're not coming across to be landscapers. Ain't nobody landscaping. They ain't got the money. So having said that, using that as an example, they're going to be coming across for survival. Okay, because they want to survive. They're not going to be in a mode of of uh, of, uh, of maybe going by a house and seeing something here and moving on. No, they will be coming in and they will be by force taking what they need to survive. So having said that, uh, the military is turning their attention toward the border. That's that's just a fact. I'll say it like that without messing up uh, 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 or giving away my contact, but. They've turned their attention toward the border for a wildfire scenario and a critical incident that 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 uh, shall be taking place. It, it ain't it ain't nothing to do with if but when. You hear me? They will come across that border by the hundreds of thousands. It's going to happen. Okay? Am I trying to scare you? No. Uh, there will be collapses in cities. There will be collapses. You, it ain't a matter of if. It's a matter of when. Okay? There's going to be so many things to deal with in America at one time that are coming together. These incidents that are going to take place. And the reason I the reason I can say what I say and believe it is because of the Bible. Well, prove it on the ethnic groups coming across the border and people fighting. Well, Jesus said nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Ethnic group against ethnic group is what that means, okay? That's what he said. I'm just telling you what he said, okay? If you don't like it, then take it up with that word of God. Okay, because, and listen, there has to be an economic collapse. There has to be. In order for the mark of the beast to be offered. Okay, and that no man can buy or sell. That's why I am so, so, so on having your weapons for defense and ammo for defense of having your food, having your water, having your things that you need to survive. That is why I'm so passionate and do what I do. Because I do not want to see 
or hear of people starving to death, raped and killed all over this nation when some of it could have been prevented. Not all of it, but some of it could be prevented through preparing and through getting ready for what is coming down the pipeline. It is on the way. It has already been planned. See, just as God has disciples, Satan has disciples, okay? It's just that simple. So now having said that, enough of the guns for right now. And if you send me a comment, won't know about this, I'll personally try to get back with you in short messages, okay? Now, food. Food, 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 food. You need storable food because when the shelves is empty, will you become another sheep? for a corporate, military, industrial complex handout, will you become a welfare recipient of the New World Order, or will you be self-sufficient? Now, the choice is up to you. It ain't up to me. I can only put it out. Now, you can accept or reject and do whatever you want to do with it, but know this. That if the goodman of the house knew what time the thief was coming, he would not have suffered his house to be broken in and broken up. That's right. Now, I believe that the good Lord has given us opportunity and people to see these things and to make sense of them that have not been destroyed by the mainstream media and the propaganda to be able to recognize and to be able to warn people, okay, of what's going on. Now, Having said that, you should get you a food supply if you don't have it. If you do have it, continue to rotate it. You should have rice and pasta. You should have propane, not just electric electric stuff. You should have diesel. You should have fuel. You should have a means to cook besides that stove in the kitchen. You should have it. Now, there'll be some of us that'll say, I say us because we're all in this thing together. Well, I don't have this, I don't have that. Well, look, they certain, that man, they certain things that, that we just got to give up to get what we can get to survive. Because I got news for you. It's going to come. If you don't have food and water and a way to protect it, you're in trouble. You're in deep trouble. I mean deep trouble. Because it is coming. And by the way, matter of fact, they even had on Fox News. I caught a blip of it. They were big wheels on there talking about buying the rich guys, talking about buying canned food and ammo and gold. Even the richie boys are talking about it. So you do what you want to do. But end times come by here today to tell you, you better get your canned goods. You better get your seeds if you're able to plant and grow stuff if you're in the area. You better get your water. You better have an alternative way to use a well. You better have an alternative way to uh, wash that nasty tail of yours. And like I have mine, I got me a way. Because if you don't, think about it. Disease will set in. You'll become unsanitary in different things. You'll catch the, the diseases, intestinal diseases, and you're going to be in trouble. So, having said that, food, food, food. Food, 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 man. Get the food, get the food. Get the food. That, that, read the label on it. You know, somebody had showed me. Man, I went out in a hurry a while back and bought a, uh, uh, about 20-something cases of Campbell's soup. Now, I can't even eat the dang crap because of what's in it. It was too stupid to look at the label. Don't be don't be dumb like End Time was in that scenario. I can't eat it because of the stuff that's in it. But there are certain things that are good for you. Just like, hey, check this out. Tuna has more mercury in it than salmon. Okay. So salmon, you're less likely to be have a mercury uh, toxin build up in you if you if you eat a bunch of salmon versus a bunch of tuna. Do I have tuna? You bet your rear end I do. That's in water, okay? Okay, but having said that, I'm not going to sit there and eat it every day and build a mercury mercury up in it where my immune system will drop down and, and you know, different things like that. And But uh, uh, canned tuna, I mean canned salmon, 2012-2013 dates. Look for the dates on it, okay? I mean, get your pasta. Uh, 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 get your noodles. I mean, get get your rice. Get all these staples and things that you need that that you're going to be able to be able to diverse with. Uh, a while back, I would have told you get your peanut butter, but hey, dude, mine. Uh, uh-uh, uh, no, 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 not with that stuff going on. Last thing you need is a daggum disease that's going to kill you off of some tainted mess. And that just goes back to my point that that the corporations are not for me and you; they're for themselves. But I'll do another part here in just a second.